Hey guys, um, question for David. Um, you guys shot on an actual uh, naval ship in Louisiana. I know how cramped those are. Talk about the challenges of setting up your sound mix. And then for the post guys, did you actually go to any of the actual real Navy ships and kind of record some sounds? Um, th thank you for, for recognizing that. Yeah, we shot on the USS Kidd in Baton Rouge on the, on the uh, Mississippi River. It's a floating museum. Uh, before I talk about anything, I have to say that the veterans that work on that um, on that ship are a superb, superb group of people. Some of them even served on that ship, you know, during wartime, and they were they were instrumental in, in allowing us to understand the inner workings of, of the vessel, which was critically important for the authenticity. We then recreated the pilot house on stage on that gimbal that I had previously mentioned, and three other sets, which were the sonar and the command and control center, which is where they do all the radar plotting and they do all the ship plotting for, for uh, combat action. Um, it was exceptionally tight quarters and we didn't make the set um, in any other special way. It was, it, it was, I think it was like maybe a 25% bigger, but then we filled it full of people and equipment and then we put a roof on it and then we sprayed water down on it and, and blew fans and created mist and it, it was, it, it was a, a harsh environment, whether you were indoors or outdoors. And um, the complexity and the tightness of the quarters, you know, you, you, it's a trade-off. Yes, you can't swing a boom in there, so you have to use these plant microphones. Sure, there's going to be a bunch of water and the actors are going to get wet, so you must take, you know, every reasonable precaution to, to make sure that you get it, you know, because there's no point in having an equipment failure because of water. I mean, you knew there was going to be water. Why didn't you do something? With it? But, the, you know, it also provides you with, uh, it also provides you with the, the fact that everybody is in close quarters. So even if I have a plant mic that's like here and my guy's here and the next guy's over there, well, then there's still a good opportunity for us to capture that audio in, in a manner that is, that is believable and it has the correct acoustic environment. So, you know, it, 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 it's a trade-off and, and it was very, very difficult to shooting in that. But, you know, learning about the USS Kid and all the communication systems that we had to, to modify, which, you know, I can talk about if anybody's interested, you know, it was, it, was a, it was a real challenge. To the second part of your question, I spent about three weeks after the shoot ended, I spent one day on the Kid, on that ship. And I, it was just one day, but I was toured by a, group, a small group of those veterans that David mentioned, and amazing, wonderful, humbling, such wonderful guys. And there wasn't anything to record in that ship, but I took umpteen pictures of, the, I mean, the guns on the ship are not active, but I took all kinds of pictures and basically created the beginning of what would be a research project for myself about what I had to learn all the inner workings of. Thanks, guys.